I'm going to show you how to make an electrified wash tub base. Now this is what we call the sole bucket. This is the instrument used by Farmer John, wash tub bass player for Shane Spiel's snake oil band. As you can see, this wash tub base is heavily abused because Ron Benway, our washboard player, likes to smash his washboard against the uh, base at the end of shows. Depends on how much he had to drink that night. <laughs> um, the reason this thing is still alive, though, is Farmer John was smart. And he has, uh, <laughs> he took some metal and reinforced the inside to keep it from caving in. But, like I said, I wanted to show you how we, how we electrified this. Hold on, let me get the neck. All right. Sorry for all the wiggly camera, but hey, I'm doing this myself. So, what we have here, we've tried various ways of electrifying a wash tub base. And originally we put a contact pickup, a piezo, somewhere right around in here on the underside. But the problem we had with that was that it was feeding back. If we, we were playing larger clubs um, and we had it going through the PA system, this thing would feed back just like, crazy just because of all the vibration so we came up with the solution instead of putting a pickup on the soundboard here to get the the tone of the bass what we did was we put the pickup right here on the supporting bolt okay and I'm gonna get a little close up here we have the bolt that is typical of any wash tub base you know and uh, I'll give a an example. Here's a regular bolt here. What we did was we bought one of these piezo rod pickups from cbgiddy.com. And you see these are the the pickup that goes underneath an acoustic guitar's uh bridge. Nothing to it. It just picks up the sound vibrations. Well, what I did I put it against the bolt right against like this I wrapped I, I took some uh, heat shrink tubing put it around it and shrunk it so that it didn't go anywhere and then I heavily wrapped it in in electrical tape so you can see right here there's the piezo rod pickup it is just heavily taped and wrapped onto this bolt here and what you have is now a pickup that gets a hundred percent tone from the weed whacker string and none of the feedback from the soundboard itself that is how we get such a loud wash tub bass in concert it's what we're going to be using when we record this now I put a little note here do not twist this is in tight and then there's a the wire going down it through a hole and if he were to twist this around it would break the wire I'm just doing repairs right now because we have a guitar jack that the wire goes down through into the guitar jack and last night at a gig Farmer John was throwing the bucket around after a song and it messed up the uh, jack so I gotta put a new jack in but that's it that is how to make an electrified wash tub base what you need to do is get one of these piezo rod pickups from CB Giddy Make your wash tub base. There's plans all over the internet. And on this bolt, make sure the bolt goes up pretty high uh, from, from the wash tub itself. And then you affix this to it. Like, like I said. And then tape it, wrap it, and just... I mean, I forget how many times I wrap this sucker. It's never going to come out. So there you go. Thanks.